one. I said in my heart. Or his mind. I think. said mind. So like. Oh, uh, it says heart in there, but I was just saying your heart is your mind. Oh, so, so he was like. thinking. He was he was saying to himself. I said in my heart, go to now. I will prove thee with mirth. Therefore, enjoy pleasures, and behold, this is also this also is vanity. So, uh, King Solomon uh, went out and saw what the pleasures of the world were to temper his steel mm -hmm. to see if there was anything about it. But it was all just vanity. It was nothing. It was it was confetti. King, King Solomon had the, the best of the women. He didn't. He didn't probably had many relationships with the coolest men and the worst men. And he looked at the situation and said, you know what? It's foolishness, man. It served my power. I said of laughter, it is mad. And of mirth, what does what do it what do with it? So go into the club every night on Saturday trying to get some musty box, musty who, box. who looks like a, a fine wrap package, but once you unwrap that shit, it's a it's a log in there. Mm -hmm. It's those switches, as they say when you get Christmas presents. It's all just madness and you think you're going out with people that are your so called bros buying them and drinks and everything and y'all are having a good time. But you just wait till Jacob's trouble comes and that real adversity hits. Yeah. You'll see who a friend is and who an enemy is and there's gonna be a damn sure a lot yeah, more enemies than friends. Yeah. True. They might end up cutting off one of your legs and putting you on a skewer to cook like you your said, ass. When, 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 when fun times is here, everything is all right, man. People ain't got a problem with you, but when that when when, when, when adversity, people, you know who your friend is in that adverse situation, man. You know who gonna die with you, and you know you gonna know who gonna hang you up to drive, man. Especially in America, this whole society is built off of materialism and just a uh, uh, quick hits quick hits of happiness yeah. for, for when materialism actually hits since a lot of these people aren't spiritual like the brother just said we're going to see who's a friend and, and who's an enemy because a lot of these other cultures around the world they're, they're still somewhat built around a family structure and actually being a man of your word so when they get into a tough situation they know how to deal accordingly they actually have some uh, some, some pride in themselves but not here in America it's just a, a beast you're just living as a, a beast. That's the reason why we're going to hold tight to the brotherhood. Because when you know who want to get the fuck out of here, just like you, you know if they're going to have your back or not, man. And I see you niggas going back into the world trying to fuck with niggas that, that, that's lost in the sauce and think, oh, man, this society going to be around forever. And, and them niggas is going to just totally... 360 your ass, man. Keyword, I'm fucking with my nigga, not my brother. That's right. That's right. It says, I sought in my heart to give myself unto wine, yet acquainting, uh, acquainting mine heart with wisdom, and to lay hold on folly till I might see what was that good for the sons of men, which they should do under the heavens all the days of their life. So King Solomon threw himself into the good and the bad to work out what the truth was. Yeah. And he found out anything that wasn't of these laws, statutes, and commandments was just complete folly. Complete and, time. and I got an example of that. When I uh, first, I wouldn't consider myself coming into the truth until I, I found a great millstone. But uh, I knew I was an Israelite for a little bit. I was listening to ISUPK and IS, whatever their name is. It IUIC. Don't, IUIC, the, the dead men anyway. Yeah. But uh, they, they weren't really going into deep, deep things with anything, so I pretty much just knew I was an Israelite, followed the law, statutes, and commandments mm -hmm. and such. But at that time, as King Solomon was doing, I was kind of looking into other things yeah. and like I had some people that were in like say Jehovah's Witness tell me some stuff and I was like oh maybe maybe the law is done away with for example so for a little while I still believed I was an Israelite and followed uh, some of the commandments like the Sabbath and stuff like that but I was still ha lukewarm my foot was still in the world and for that little period I found out as I just said everything was vile, folly vanity and mirth I was just thinking to myself I was like yeah I know I'm a I know I'm an Israelite and I'm I'm following the commandments, but this this just doesn't feel right. I'm just not having fun with doing anything anymore, like going out with friends or anything on the weekend. It's just 
it's just empty now. Now that I have some idea who I am, it's just empty. empty. And then one day, I was on uh, YouTube and came across a video from one of the brothers from GMS Colorado. And from then on, it was... Right then and now. If it, I was I was filled with that that new wine and that new skins. The Holy Spirit, huh? It was it was a beautiful moment. Any of you brothers that have had that moment, you're the only ones who can understand how I'm saying you would have felt when you felt it. But I'm here right now, praying that I keep enduring in the spirit and don't take my hand off the plow. That's right. It says, Romans 12 and 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Point blank period. Once you sign up on into this thing and, and take your foot over to the other side, you're a living sacrifice. Yes, right. So you should act accordingly of a man of the Lord, keeping these scriptures for examples to see how you should act. The prophets, always good to see what they went through. And one thing that always... Uh, it uplifts me, but at the same time, it shows me how weak I am. Or the brothers in Maccabees who uh, were getting tortured and cut up. But each younger brother was like, do it to me. Because I just know that I've got the kingdom to look forward that's to. That's right. That, that's the kind of strength we, could, we all pray and hope that we can get. Because that, that story brings a tear to mind because it's so beautiful. It shows what a true, a true sincere man of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai would, is going to do during these times of Jacob's trouble. And, and what the brother just said just now, it goes back to what? Reading the scriptures. Having faith in what? The words of the book. All these different situations that, that, that present itself within the knowledge, man. You got